It's mid-March and a group of friends have brought their hunting dogs to Elk Lake Heritage Preserve just outside Hoffman in rural Grant County. It's hot, dry, and windy. And these guys are taking advantage of the weather to give their dogs some challenging field work, anticipating the hunt for upland game this fall. The dogs are large Munsterlanders, a newcomer to North America. This breed of versatile hunting dog gained recognition in the area of Munster in northwestern Germany in 1919. The large Munsterlander is a black color variant of the brown German long-haired pointer. As you can see, its coat color is highly variable, ranging from predominantly white to predominantly black. Markings occur as solid white patches or ticked or roan regions. Mike Marsh is a registered breeder. So Mike, tell me about your involvement with this breed. I've been involved with the Large Munchlander Club for about the past 20 years. Saw the dog work out in Montana, was impressed with it. I ended up getting one and then I've uh, persuaded some of my hunting partners. We all have them now. Um, great hunter, but more importantly, you spend more of your time at the house and they're just a great pet, lovable, nice, and uh, good hunters. And it's just been a pleasure for me to uh, uh, own several of them. I have, I have an import from Germany and I just imported one from Finland. This field dog characteristically is calm, gentle, and intelligent, and therefore also valued as a family dog. The versatile and cooperative characteristics of the large Munsterlander provide a reliable companion for all facets of hunting. Rod Brown is another gun dog enthusiast and breeder. Tell me about your dog experience with the Munsterlanders. You started out how many years ago? I've been 20 years now this year since I got my first Munsterlander. And uh, since I uh, started with them, I've had, uh, I think, on my sixth one now. And I uh, was real happy with the first dog I got. And um, subsequent ones I've had have even been better. So. Very, very nice uh, companions and good hunters and a lot of natural ability. Uh, nice thing about the club is the breeding standards. Uh, the dogs have to pass a natural ability test before they can be approved for breeding. They have to have their hips x-rayed after they're at least 18 months old. Try to uh, eliminate the possibility of hip dysplasia. So there's some uh, fairly high breeding standards compared to other breeds. Club has been able to manage that uh, very nicely. It's not a very popular breed, and the num as far as the numbers go, but the people who like them uh, tend to stay with them. So there's uh, I'd say a very high adoption rate as far as continuing with the breed once you've had one. I've uh, been very happy with mine and uh, plan to stick with them for the for fu foreseeable future. So as I can keep out and, and hunt with them. Uh, the other thing is, they if you're not a hunter, you can't get one of these dogs because they're they're bred to hunt. And we don't want to sell them to anybody who just wants a, you know, some like a show dog or, you know, a house pet. They, they're, that's their instinct, and their breeding is for hunting. So, um, you know, we have to be a hunter to get one. Well, we've seen that they're pretty high energy out there in the field today. And what really impressed me was one of those dogs was like 12 years old. Yeah. I mean, the uh, a lot of dogs, you know, if we get past you know eight nine years they they really slow down but uh, my, my dog one of my dogs is 12 and she still hunts very well and uh, this past past winter uh, fall you know hunted every weekend and uh, she tires out and at the end of the day they're you, know, you can tell but uh, next day they're ready to go again which is always very impressive and it's fun to watch them in the field yeah, and then they like the cold weather so I mean in Minnesota and you know, when you know, we get snow on the ground I mean, that's, that's their element. They love that, and uh, there's no problem as far as, you know, the cold goes. You know, it gets kind of warm, like today it's sort of warm and windy, and that's harder on them than, than the cold weather.
I have always enjoyed watching these dogs working a field, pointing and retrieving in response to commands. And I have watched the same dog that hunted pheasant in the morning retrieve ducks in the afternoon. Like my hunting friends, I look forward to the next time.